The fourth annual Fringe Festival starts this Thursday. It's known now as the Fringe. The festival has drawn tens of thousands of people in past years. It's really grown. It's successful. It features hundreds of shows from artists and performers all over the country, including some students from RIT. Emily Sporn has a closer look at what makes the Fringe so unique. Marine, among the performances that you can see at the Fringe is a four-hour film festival that's produced by students from RIT. Many students join forces to make 28 different short films, and I spoke with filmmaker Doug Lane, whose short film is just one of many that you can watch this weekend. Douglas Lane's film started with just the name as inspiration, titled Jeffrey Kills a Guy. I wanted to make a comedy about uh, something incredibly dark and that would make people incredibly comfortable and I thought murder was a great topic to uh, to run with so uh, Jeffrey Kills a Guy was born. Lane is a senior at RIT's School of Film and Animation. It's his first year in the Fringe and putting this film together was no small feat for him. I wrote the script over the summer so once I enter, entered the class in the fall uh, it took 15 weeks from there to produce. We filmed for about three weeks scattered over the course of the 15 week semester. Uh, and then we finished right on time at the end, so there was probably about five weeks of post-production. Many of the actors and crew you'll see in the film are also RIT students. Professor Jack Beck leads students in creating these short films, and for some of them, it may launch their careers. Uh, last year, uh, we premiered a film called Carry On, which went on to win 50 awards and was in the top 10 films of the year in the country and was on the short list for an Oscar. Lane is hoping his film will get some praise from the public, but he'll keep making movies regardless. My idols have always been filmmakers. I think that uh, film is the greatest art form because uh, it, it's an amalgamation of all of them, visual, sound, uh, performance. Uh, and I, I, I knew I wanted to be an artist, but I also wanted to survive, <laughs> so I entered film. <laughs> And Lane's film is only suitable for adults, but many of the RIT short films are family friendly. To see their showcase at the Fringe, stop by the Little Theater this Saturday at 11.30 a.m. Emily Sporn, News 8. Emily, thanks.